Well, it's Uncommon Fox, and we'll be taking a look at a Magnazone Relicanth deck that's kind of a control-style deck that can attack and take prizes as well. I, like, I think having the combination of attacking and uh, disrupting is really, really terrific to have. So I've been looking for some decks to, to, to use, utilize this Relicanth in. It's got the memory dive ability. Each year evolved Pokemon can use any attacks from its previous evolutions. You still need the necessary energy to use that attack. So I've been having a hard time coming up with decks that, with it that work. This one is, is, is working reasonably well. This is in, taken initially from a, a deck from an online tournament. I'll have a link to that original list, but then I've changed it around a decent amount, I will say. And I think it, for, from my perspective, if with my, from my style at least, it plays a lot better. It sets up. It's more consistent. It just works more often. So I, I, I think my, I, I do recommend trying out my list for sure, but take a look at the old list to compare. I will have my, my list in the description below as well. So what do we play here? We play a 3-3-4 three, three, line of Magnezone EX. We get the tankiness of Magnezone EX, um, and we can also do good damage with it. For one, Lightning Energy, Energy Crush does 50 for each energy attached to your, all your opponent's Pokemon. That can be very good. And then and then Pulse Jet Launcher for two Lightning does 220 damage and 30 to itself. So some good, uh, solid uh, attacking options there. Taking prizes is obviously a nice way to win games. But then also for controlling, we, we have the Stage 1, the Magneton, which sometimes we use that directly, but usually you want to have the Magneton for its tankiness and, and you have the Relicant to copy its, its attack. So for one Lightning Energy Junk Magnet, you put up to two item cards from your discard pile into your hand. So really like that there. And then four copies is the basic, which we're not really using its attack much at all, hopefully. Um, and then a 2-2 Beberil and one Sklovit gives us a, a decent draw engine. And also it's a long game, and Sklovit just helps keep from decking out as well, has, has benefit there as well. Have seven copies of Lightning Energy. The original list only played four copies, and that was just way too few, i got to say. I think with seven, it, it's okay. Um, I'm not sure I'd drop below seven. Maybe you could. Um, I've also added an item to help with that. But um, all right, so getting into the trainers here. Let me hit the supporters first. Uh, for Arvin, because we play a number of tools that are important, so you search for an item and a tool. Um, play one boss. I think that's really good. One Professor Turo Scenario. One Iono. Obviously, it's good early getting some cards, but also it's really good disruption late in the game. Um, getting your opponent to a really small hand size can be important. And then two Eeries, um, particularly for rare candy decks, it's very good. Or and Plus, we're playing hammers, or we're discarding energies, so getting rid of rods, different things that recover or energy retrieval, things that get energy back into the hand or back into the deck is good as well. So Eerie is good for getting rid of those energy-getting cards or energy recovery cards like that there. Uh, I did... I think Boss Arvin's just for Tura scenario, I think. One copy of Silene. Again, uh, we can get items back with Magnazone's attack or the Magna Tons attack, but we can't get back any other cards, particularly like Hero's Cape, which is in the deck. So one copy of Silene there and one copy of Misfortune Sisters. Also really good. Top five cards your opponent's deck. Discard any items you find there. Again, getting rid of rare candies, getting rid of energy recovery items, all very good. Uh, as I said, tools now, tool one copy of Hero's Cape, just very good. We're trying to often be control style, so Hero's Cape's good there. And then one TM Devolution, which is good against, obviously, rare candy decks in particular, um, and obviously they're around. And then TM Evolution, very good for us. For one energy, you choose two of your bench Pokemon and... A look, search your deck for a Pokemon that evolves from that and put it onto it. So a way to help set up faster because we can't rare candy. So just getting set up is super important there. So those are the tools there. And then getting into the items then, which is kind of the heart of this deck. Uh, one copy of Counter Catcher. Original deck list, just play two Counter Catcher, no boss. I went with a one Counter Catcher, one boss. I think because a lot of times I'm falling behind, but I was catching up in prizes. So having access to boss, I think is really good in this deck. Uh, four copies is a Crushing Hammer. Um, you, you know, I, it, it kind of feels bad playing Crushing Hammer. It's very obviously luck-dependent, but, you know, but the more times you play Crushing Hammer, it will even out in the end. So um, just keeping your opponent from attacking, you, your opponent's going to miss turns, right? With Crushing Hammer, we can play him multiple times a turn. We can recover two every turn with the Magnazones 
attack, so it's just really good. Just keeps your opponent from getting going and can be crushing and defeating to your opponent there. Two nest balls to set up for ultra balls. We have the evolutions we got to get. One copy of Palpad because we want to get back these supporters. Uh, two super rods to get back energies and or Pokemon. Really good because we also have to be discarding things with the ultra ball, so being able to recover things is good there. Two lost vacuums um, can be very important. I, I think you know getting rid of a tool or a stadium uh, in play is very good there. Uh, four Buddy Buddy Poffins. All the Pokemon are searchable from Buddy Buddy Poffin, the basics except for Relicanth, so very good there. One Switch card. The deck originally didn't have that, but I felt like that's an important card to have access to, and we can recover it again. Um, with our attack or with Silene, so that's good. And then one copy of Earth and Vessel, which the deck didn't have, and it just didn't make any sense to me why it didn't. I think the deck just really wants it because we have four Arvin, so we're searching for a tool. We we want we can attack for one energy. We want to guarantee we get that energy. So Earth and Vessel, which a lot of times we'll get with Arvin, is just a really good card in the deck. Even a second Earth and Vessel could be good, but with one at least, one Earth and Vessel, seven energies, I think I'm setting up often enough. So that's the list. We'll take a look on the ladder and see it in action. Um, the first game I think I'm going to be showing in the video, because I've already recorded the gameplay, is, is, is an older build of the deck. But the deck's set up quite nicely, so I think I do. And it showed off the, with the, how the deck works. So I do want to, I think I'm going to include that game and then a later game with this final build um, just to show how things are. Uh, the deck can work, but at times it struggles. And I will say, when I was recording the gameplay, I saw a lot of ancient and future decks out there, all basics. So things that the, the to, to try to get rid of rare candies and devolve that was of no value there. And, and the ancient decks in particular were, were troublesome, and I did see a lot of those because they have so much energy acceleration from the discard pile. It was very tough. And even the future decks with the um, with the ace spec there, getting energies back, uh, just makes life tough for the hammers to be very effective. Um, when, the, when, the, when your opponents like Professor Soddings, uh, two energies back into play every turn, they can get energies back faster than I can probably get rid of them. So it's been tough in terms of what the matchups are. But um, I think it's a solid deck. Let me know your thoughts of ways to make this list better or other suggestions for Relicanth, because I am excited about playing that in some other decks as well. So let's take a look at the deck in action. All right, let's see what happens this game. Hopefully we get a better setup. The last game, things did not set up well, is what I'd say. Which, you know, it, it, it's prone to that. And, and look, it was a deck that uh, could, could it, look, it, it was Chen Pao, and be, I, I will go first. I, I think that's the better play generally. It might not be. Um, obviously, going second and TM Evolution is better. That's not a terrible start. That's probably a decent start here. All right. Oh, you're in uh, future. So probably future hands. Well, that's not good. Oh, well, okay. We'll see what happens here. I will get two of these guys into play. And... Unless, do I want to get another? I, you know, what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get a, a, another Bidoof down. I'm gonna assume they're gonna take out the active. That's my thought here. Um, that's my thought. If they take out the Magnemite, then I'm then I'm scuffling. But you know, I may I have another turn to kind of get things going. They might not be able to attack this turn. All right, Town Store is nice for me, right? Um, so research, okay. Had to chuck away a generator. Glad to see that. So, you know, getting, you know, hammering away the energy will be good for, you know, gives gives me a real option against this deck. So, um, you know, that's what it comes down to. I don't play any switching cards, right? Which is its own issue in the deck, right? I, I do play the, um, the Professor Turo in the deck, but uh, they'll, they'll knock me out actually, right? So that's okay. Um, how do I want to work this? I, I guess I send up the Magnemite. I'll send up the Magnemite. I need, uh, I'm not loving this, but I think 
if I okay that's good this is good I guess I Iono here at this point um well I do I could get I will hammer here okay I got a heads I'm pleased with that just getting rid of energy here yeah, I make iron hands harder for him to attack with do I want us I could squove it here I could um I could Arvin what, what do I want to get here I need I need energy that's the big thing and I don't play and maybe I should play so I'll grab a team evolution and I need a buddy buddy pop and that's that's really what I need <sighs> Seven energies. Okay, so hopefully I hit energy. I'll attach this. I'll make this play. I will squove it. And then the barrel. If I get an energy, I'm I'm in solid shape, right? I need I need an energy. Well that's actually pretty good. Let me thin out the deck here. Do I want to drop down the Relicanth at this point? Okay, I will. Give me an energy action. Yeah, give me don't don't use the, the stadium yet. Well it thins a card. It also I draw one less card. So okay that's really really nice. I could hmm. so let me just take a peek in the deck. And then I might want to, so I don't need TM Devolution. So I will Ultra Ball away. I, I'm gonna evolve one of my bench Pokemon is the play there. What, do I, what am I gonna need at this point? I'll ditch the Iono. Get one. Stage one on the bench so that I can. Oh no, I can't do that. Ah, that. That was a mistake, wasn't it? That was a mistake. Okay, well, all right, just. All right, I will. I forgot. I. It's okay. Unfortunately, I have both. I wasn't. A Magneton wasn't prized. I, I forgot that I. I had, had that the Magnemites were both played this turn. I thought one of them had been played earlier, and I could evolve it. But look, now I have my th now I have three Magnetons in play. Um, that's good, right? Now, now I now I can get going with this. Um, hopefully, so we're gonna attack with the active again. Um, mist energy was that a mist energy, which doesn't or gift energy? Okay. The good news for me is I'm not going to attack into you. I'm going to now. Now the first attack is actually very good at this point, right? It does fifty. So at this point, one, two. So if I get a boss, if I have a switching card, um, if I get like counter catcher, I can take out in the iron hands with the energy and really set them back. So if I get a switching ability, that's nice. I need energy now as well, but uh, it's okay, right? This is okay, hopefully. It's not ideal. Um, they can't one-shot my active. Um, all these bench Pokemon might come to bite me as well. Do I want to Um, I think I want to grab a tool. Might as well grab a tool. I'm here, right? Thin, thin the deck down. Hero's Cape is good. I, I've got to hit an energy, of course. No, I don't. I have energy. So, because Turo, I, I still could play the Turo, right? Turo's an option. Um, hmm. I could get rid of the stadium. I don't know that I want to. So I want to get something out of play here. Maybe I'll I'll get 
wove it out of play. Just kind of thin down my bench options here. What do I have for trainers here? Don't love that. Okay. Um, I guess I just attack at this point. Actually, I'm going to get rid of get rid of this tool because because I could get rid of the stadium, but I think getting rid of the tools is actually pretty good. And I will just attack. At this point, I do big damage, but um, I don't really want to knock him out, do I? I guess I do. Um, I'll do Junk Magnet. Um, I want this, and... Yeah, let me just keep hot chucking away their tools. Maybe I should have gotten rid of another tool last turn. But lost, you know, just getting rid of their tools, losing their pivots, and losing the extra damage that that gives, right, is... Because that's an awesome tool. Hmm. That's right, they have the heavy batons as well. I forgot about that, so... Um, if I... But at this point, if I can knock him out next turn, well, okay, they just hit into my active. Unfortunately, unfortunately they didn't s s retreat into me. So, um, okay, so let's see what happens here. First, I will hopefully hit the heads on the hammer. I failed that. Um... I will the lost vacuum. Just get away. Get just ditch their resources slowly, slowly, slowly. Right. Get rid of the heavy baton. Make him recycle that. Um, I don't want to squove it again. I'll squove it. First, let's see. I don't need to rod, so I will squove it and then the barrel. And ideally, I get counter catcher, and my life is really happy if I do that. So, um, I'm gonna be barrel first. Arvin gets me what I want. Um, okay, so that's good. So, I'll grab the counter catcher here. That's super nice. And kind of puts them into an awkward spot, I will say. Just slows them down, right? A lot. So, and I will attach my energy to the bench guy, right? So, 400 damage. So, uh, you know, slow them down with some hammers, take some prizes, and, you know, see if I can kind of work this game together. Okay, check out a second Relic Camp from the prizes. So I have, I mean, Eerie's not great. I don't know that Eerie's great with this matchup. Arvin again for, um, uh, okay, I'm, I'm, and I, and I, maybe I should not have gotten rid of that Lost Vacuum, because Lost Vacuum's really good. I'd love to get rid of that other Lost Vacuum. I, I can recover that with my attack. Um, at this point, I can't um, gust this turn, but that's okay. Um, I probably ultra ball away the relic. Okay, I'm getting Ionoed, so that's that. You know, that's okay. I have Squove it, but Barrel is a nice setup. All right, I if they if they take a knockout, I have Counter Catcher. I really do want to get a um, Yex into play. So, you know, so they're working through me. Working through me. Um, I have counter catch. I can't use that this turn, though. Oh, I have pal pad back. I want a pal pad. Let's see what they got here. Um, Turo, Arvin. No, I don't want a pal pad at this point. Uh, do I want a supporter at this point? I think I'm happy to Misfortune Sisters. Let's see what I get. Okay, counter catcher, boom and boom. Good. Just get rid of 
those cards and just see what else was there. Okay. Just get a sense of what they're what what they got going on. Um, you know, just make just reducing, annoying reducing, is always good. All right, so iron hands. Let me hammer this away. That's good. Get rid of a lightning because that's what they, you know, that's that's the main one they're going to need for this matchup. Draw five fresh cards. Oh, that's very nice. Got got that. Um, let's see if I can get if I can get rid of another lightning here. Oh, flip tails. That's okay. I'm gonna want to grab. Let's think here. I don't want to take the knockout this turn. I want more. Uh, I, I want to. I think I want to hammer. I do want. You know what I could do? I think I grabbed the loss vacuum and the counter catcher. I assume. Is that what I want to do? No, I don't need counter catcher. So loss vacuum and hammer. If they're, let's think. They, they, 160. No, I guess I shouldn't. Uh, I guess I was next. This was, was a double hammer turn, I guess. So. I slightly misplayed that, I think. Um, so 80. So they'll take me out this next turn. So this should have been a double hammer turn. Um, so I, I misplayed that. I mean, you know, just I'm getting rid of these energies is, is good, though, too. If I can, if I hit heads. So, I, yeah, I should. That was a mistake there for sure. Um, so give me a heads here. And they're in. Uh, that's, a, that's sad. Very sad. Um, and I will get rid of their tool here though I do think I want to do that I'll keep my energy get rid of that tool because that just makes their life a lot more difficult um, I will scove and barrel now Arvin which is good um, all right, let's see. I have another hammer, so I might as well get, hit him with a second hammer this turn. If I get rid of the lightning energy, that could be game. Uh, all right, another tails. That, that's that's sad, but it is what it is, right? It is what it is. Let's get some fresh cards. Um, another relicant. Don't care about that. So I will. Junk magnet back. Two hammers. Uh, cause that really, you know, that, that's what I'm trying to do here. So that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, you know, they want to grab three prizes off the iron hands. That's their goal here. Um, I, you know, I wish I hadn't got lost zoned the, uh, one of my lost vacuums. I think that was, that was a mistake. I think that I do think that was a mistake. Um, Okay, free retreat there. Do they have the what let's what's their tool situation? So do they have the wish the heavy baton? They they're at down two copies. Maybe that's all they play. I mean if I'm fortunate they're out of wishful batons, right? Because I have the knockout this turn. I'm gonna lose my cape. Um, I can recover it with Silene. Alright, so they're drawing a bunch of cards here. So getting close to the deck out situation too. If they don't get the wishful, if they don't have wishful baton though, then they're in a lot of trouble, a lot of trouble. So, okay. Um, well, that 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 was actually a big play for them, a very big play, because because that got energy into play that they needed. So now, it makes my life much more difficult. They can't get the knockout this next turn though. I do have knockout this turn, right? So, um. So I could Arvin, I could Eerie. Those are my options here. Um, let's think. I guess, do I want to Eerie first? Oh, let me see what's in their hand. Um, yeah. 
I got crowd on a couple of Arvins. Okay, so that's fine there. Let's see what I get here. Just want to hit away at that iron iron hands. That's the goal. I need to need to get a heads here, please. Uh, double tails, which eh, you know is what it is. I I can't really complain about that, can I? Let me squove it in the barrel. Just keep digging through my deck some. Counter catcher. Um, but I, I, I do I do just want to take the knockout here. Right, so oh side okay, well that's good too. Um uh, let's see, pal pad. Do I want to pal pad something back? Let's just take a quick look here. guess I just take the knockout here if they have boss they can't counter catcher that this turn that that's the good news they didn't have boss in hand so that's good so hopefully they can't take the, the knockout um see what happens here I could have attached like to the barrel because if they try to like stall out of a barrel that's really bad for me right I don't think I want to. Um, I don't know if I want to take out the Maridon though. That that part's a bit scary for me. So right, uh, they play boss. Okay, now I'm in trouble, right? Because now they can. One sixty, seventy, eighty, uh, ninety. They can't one shot me still, right? Which is which is very important here. So, um, all right. So let me wait. What's the what's the? So let me Silene first. Um, two tails. Oh, that really stinks. That stinks very big time. All right. So let me pal pad Silene and. Grab this. I, I will squove it in the barrel. I don't need to worry about atten attaching energy to retreat because if they manage well, all right, I will thin my hand, make this one attachment here. Uh, I don't think they win this next turn, which is good for me. And so I junk magnet. Um, it's going to come down to, you know, comes down to flipping heads, right? In tails, which, which I don't like with this deck, right? It's, um, but, you know, making the decisions, it's still, look, it's it's, it's not all luck-based, obviously. It's about making the right decisions as, as the game goes on. So, um, I need to get energy off of Iron Hands is what I need to do. Obviously, the uh, future, uh, what's that, what's their, the, the reboot pod was very poor without reboot pod if they played like prime catcher they wouldn't have had a chance i don't think you know reboot pod was was key to their having a chance in this game um i don't know if they have any more energies though right there's eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen six sixteen energies is probably it for them i guess i i can't take out the maridon um at this point they're in a tricky spot right i mean they just I don't know why they just, they should have hit attack with Maridon, I think, right? I really do think that. Um, so I think I want an Eerie. Let's see what's in their hand. Um, all right, no bull. All right, so I will get rid of Generator, Counter Catcher. Okay. Might be out of count. What's their Counter Catcher? So they don't have Counter Catcher, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. So the knockout's okay, actually, right? That means I can attack. I don't have to worry about going ahead and prizes. <sighs> okay, good. So now... That might just kind of get me game. You know, their head, I will... I'll take you down. I think I attack this turn now. That's what I do. If I take the knockout, I think I'm okay. 
I think I I think I got it where I don't think they can have I don't think they can knock me out this turn. I mean, look if they if they get boss, I lose. But if if they had boss, I was in trouble anyway. Actually, now I'm okay with boss because um, they can't iron hands for game on what my single prizes, right? So I think the combination of disruption and prize taking, I think I will take six prizes for game here. So a slow game from my from my part. Apologies to my opponent. Partly I'm still learning the deck, so I was wasn't trying to slow play and just trying to figure out the, the, the lines of play there. So flipped a lot of coins, of course. Um, doesn't feel great. Uh, so I got I won four coin flips. I'm pretty sure I flipped more than four. I think I I was less than fifty percent, but got the W between the combination of the damage and the disruption and uh, got, got a win in that kind of game. Uh, you know, I don't know. I, I don't feel great flipping that many coins playing, um, uh, you know, uh, Crushing Hammer, but um, but effective there. And it's fun in its, in, its, in its sort of a way it's fun, I guess is what I'd say. All right, let's see what happens here. Hopefully it's not another Ancient Box. I've been seeing, unfortunately today, I've been seeing a ton of Ancient Box, and that is a, a rough matchup. Either Future Hands, Ancient Box has been the, the, a, a tough one, really. Probably the one, I, it, just because they have so much energy. Partly they play Awakening Drum as well as the Professor Sada's Vitality. So they just have a ton of energy, of, of getting energy out of the discard pile back at the play. And therefore, um... And with their tool, I, I can't necessarily one-shot them. So it's just been very tough. Uh, wow. What? <laughs> Six. Well, that's a lot of mulligans there. And that's a terrible starter. But okay. That's the way the game wants to be. Um, we'll see. Psychic. I mean, it might be a better matchup. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So uh, eh, not terrible. I mean, the TMD Evolution, of course, is no use at all this matchup. I'll just do make, make these get these guys in play here, I guess. Um, and I'll just pat and turn, I guess. It's not good, obviously. Um, I want to keep the hand. I have Ultra Ball, so I might Ultra Ball next turn. Um, I, obviously, I ditched the TMD Evolution because that's no good. Um, you know, so, yeah, I mean, this, this is rough. So they have free retreat. Can, do they get Maridon on play? If they, and then they will. So they'll, do they get, they need energy. If they have energy, they can get Maridon. Uh, okay, counter catch. So that means they probably, uh, uh, all right, well, if they take out my Magnemite, I, I just concede at this point, I think. Um, but I guess they're not going to attack this turn. So that's a big plus for me. It, it's not good, though, because they do have Iron Hands, which I'm not happy about that, I got to say. So what do I want to get here? I have energy, so this isn't terrible, right? So I need... I have Ultra Ball, right? So I think I need Team Evolution and probably a Buddy Buddy Poffin. And then I'm not in terrible shape. Right. I, um, all right. So let me make the plays I need to make. So I need to attach. I'm going to attack with the squirrel. Bit. They, they take two prizes off him, but you know I, I can live with that. I need to ultra ball away. Do I want to get rid of the um, wishful baton? Maybe I do. I'm going to get rid of the rod. I don't love. I think that's what I need to do at this point. So I get a Magneton, and I get down. Let's think what I do here. I don't want to give him too many cheap prizes, though, also, I got to say. So let me... I'll just get down one, Mag one more Magnemite, and now I TM Evolution. I want to actually, you know, I'm going to nest dash while I'm here too. Why, why not? I don't, the Lost Vacuum is a good useful card, but okay, that's actually pretty good as long as that, that's not my only one in deck, right? So boom and boom. So you get this. 
you get this. So I have a Magnazone with energy on it on, at the end of turn two. So that's that's actually very good for me. Um, I, I'm not loving my spot. I, you know, I'm just... You know, they're going to take two prizes off the Skull of it. They'll take two prizes off the Bidoof. Um, that's kind of what I think is going to happen. Um, you know, they, they have to get a lot of energies in play, though, which means I can one-shot them. Well, no, they need one. They need five energies in play for me to one-shot them. So, okay, so what are they going to do? So they're going to force me to switch, I think. Which isn't terrible. So they're going to Prime Catcher. Okay. That's all right. Um... It's not terrible. I don't, and I don't love it, but let's see. I mean, I can, I, I, I knock them out, right? That's the good news. I will take a prize, but taking one prize isn't great for me. Um, so they have the future. I mean, the iron bundle with the hyper blower, which I assume they're not using. I assume they're not using since they prime catched up with the Pokemon. I think they want to hit into, right? Um, and uh, so what do they have here one, two was it three iron crown so yeah 40 plus 60 more just trying to get a sense of what they're doing here um, and, and look that was that was that was a smart play it's also partly why I didn't I could have evolved him but it just didn't really seem like the play I wanted to make I gotta say um so evolve him, scrove it. You know, hopefully, you know, and I own it would be a dream. I, I just getting energy is is kind. Of, oh, well, that's awesome. I don't know that I want to get the um, relicanth in play. Uh, that's not bad actually. That's not bad at all. Okay, so let me hammer here. If I get if I get ahead, all right. The game's not cooperating there, but um, okay. 200. So I take the knockout, take a prize, I catch up in prizes. Um, so they're going to have to get through two Magna Zones, I think, is, is the plan, my plan for them to win the game, right? So they have Iron Bundle on the bench, in which case I set up the Squovit. Um, and they'll grab two prizes off the Squovit. Um, and so this is rather than the ancient box of the future deck, um, you know, all these paradox decks, this, this is the better matchup, partly because they don't have all the energy acceleration, right? The ancient decks have the energy acceleration. This one does not as much. And, uh, okay. And they play prime catcher for the ace spec. So I now know they don't have the, the, the future ace spec. So, okay, they're attacking again. That's not terrible. That's not terrible. Um, I mean, I'll just let them take the Scovit down, right? I mean, that's I'm ha I'm happy with that. Give give them another prize. That's that's okay. I don't know that I want to miss Fortune Sisters. They um, obviously they play items. Everybody does, but. Obviously, I don't want to drop another. Don't don't drop the Bidoof down, at this point. Um, yeah, because they're going to get the four prizes, and then if they took out the Barrel or the Bidoof with Iron Hands with AMP very much, they they then they only take out one Magnezone. So right now, I think I can't bench another single prize, another Pokemon, even though they only need to take five prizes to win the game. Now, um, I just think that's not gonna work for me so um so let's see here i mean if i want to use the earlier attack i do play counter catcher so i may have the knockout here ideally well i mean ideally it'd be i would get a um not gonna get counter catcher and um uh let's let's think here so i want to So 
So I'm going to drop, I'm going to just, I just want to peek in the deck and maybe thin a little bit too. Let's see. I, I mean, there's, is, I want to check on Relicant. That's what I want to do. But let me see. Do I have a counter catcher? I don't have counter catcher. Uh, okay. So what, what are my... Uh, I mean, that's bad news there. That's really bad news. Okay, so. Oh, so just say done. And th then let me, so I'm gonna Arvin. Yeah, okay, so Arvin. So I want Earth and Vessel, because I want energy attached to my guy on the bench. That's what I want to do. I will get... I don't think I need Misfortune, Sister. I, I, I think I do want Silene at some point. So I'll grab two energies. Um, it's not great. I'll attach there and just take the knockout. It's not good. Um, I mean, I'm caught up on prizes again. Okay, counter. there's my counter catcher. So that's... I mean, unfortunately, I have... Unfortunately, you know, last turn would have been good. I, and obviously, I would like to get rid of the, um, let's see, just look at my disc, the, get rid of the uh, the tool. What is it? Heavy baton, I think it is. Because it moves the energy over, right? So uh, they only need three because they're not going to, they, they want to do big damage, I assume, here. So I, I take him out. They do big damage and big damage. Um, so I, I, I may play Sy I Actually, I counter catcher and then I Silene. No, I, I keep the counter catcher, don't I? Oh, oh that, that's, that's awesome. So now, this is awesome. Okay, so I'll get rid of I want to hang on to the Silene. Get rid of the baton. That's awesome sauce. Um, he, he just gets the knockout here. I think I will attach energy here. And I will just... Yeah, I'll just take the knockout. Say thank you for that. Um... Yeah, I like that. Cause they, and I attached the extra energy to the guy on the bench because I can't Silene next turn. That That's that's a given. But um, so counter catcher, though, it is nice. Well, no, I mean, that the, the crushing hammer is good at this at this point in the game, too. Um, they need one energy and then they finish me off. I don't take them out though. That that's the the one problem is I, I only do I do two twenty, and they're two thirty. So this is where the the math is awkward, right? There are these two thirty HP, basic EXs, and so doing two twenty doesn't feel as good as it used to anymore. Um, and my counter catcher, yeah, okay, yeah, it's just one counter catcher I think in the deck because I think I put the boss in last time. Ooh, so what? The, okay, so he might he's gonna take the extra prize. Um, for okay. Oh, that's that's actually a big mistake there because for now he has five energies. I now I now I I now one shot the uh, iron hands, so that that's a big mistake. I mean I lost the counter catcher, so I but this is okay. So they take the knockout. Um, that was a I think a huge miss because because now they are going to have a tough time getting energy in play. And I can do, I can, I can one shot the iron crown. I don't one shot a iron, iron hands, but that was a big, like a big miss on my opponent's part. So I will do 250. If, if they didn't attach that extra energy, I wouldn't have knocked them out. And, you know, that gave me game. So that was, you know, just, just a big, a big miss by my opponent there, um, not paying attention to what my attacks did. So look, I, we all make mistakes. My opponent wasn't, if they didn't accelerate that extra energy, um, it was going to be a very close game, I think. 
Um, I'm not certain about that. But anyway, so the deck up against a slightly awkward matchup, but uh, but came through. All right, choosing heads here as always just makes life easy, not thinking. All right, not thinking seems like my specialty sometimes. All right, so go on to go first. I mean, I do have the uh, TM Evolution if I go second, but uh, which, which can put me in a better spot. But um, all right, taking all right, they see the hammer, they see the Magnazone. Um, and you can read the nice thing is if you don't know what the Magnazone is, when you come into the log, you can you know they can see boom what Magnazone does. You can read it later in the game, which is nice for people like me that don't remember what all the cards do. So anyway, they see the hammers, they know they're up against that. This is better. Last game was, I think, what, six mulligans, which is pretty insane. Uh, that's not really good. But anyway, am I, what, did I win the coin toss? I lose. Yes, I did. Okay. So I, I, I lose track of that. All right. So it's not great. Um, ooh, so ancient. This is really, this is bad, is what I'll say. This, this is bad. Um, yeah. This, this, so I, I don't know that I can make this work, but we need to do what we can here. So I will, I think I want to keep the Iono just so I have some draw next turn. Get down another Magnemite. I'll attach to one of the energy, to one of the bench guys, and end turn. I imagine they'll t knock out, my, my assumption is they can knock out the active. They need just need to get at this point, okay, they didn't get energy in the discard pile, which is good for me, um, because that, because that, okay, so the, now they, I mean, that's good. I mean, look, they only have one energy in the discard, so otherwise they could have had two, but they want to be able to Professor Sada's vitality. So two, they could Professor Sada's to the active, not the bench. Um, although actually in this case, maybe that's better um, because I do less damage. If, if they actually, with three energies in play, may, maybe that was intentional. With three energies in play, I do one-shot them. So, um, anyway, so I will hammer. I imagine Iono. Hopefully, I can evolve the guy on the bench. Um, so, I get the tool. tool, And I could I get, could get tool and ultra ball, right? I think that, no, I think I, think I need to Iono here. And just see, I, I. I mean, if I get the tool, I can evolve him. I think I need too many pieces. I, I, I mean, I, I needed to not use the hammer if I wanted to. Um, all right, well, that's not great. That's definitely not great. Okay, so. Um, I don't love this, do I? Um, all right, I'm, I'm going to just kind of go, I, I'm going to just try to, I don't normally, I'm going to a different strategy because I'm not liking my position here, is what I'll say. Um, Attach this energy, and I'm gonna. I'm just gonna switch. I'm gonna use mag magnetic switch just to send up one of these guys without any energy. Assuming they're gonna take the knockout. Assuming they take the knockout. If they don't take the knock, if he stays in the act, if they don't take the knockout, that's fine because they didn't take a prize that turn. I'm okay with that too. Um, and if they gust up someone from the bench, then it wouldn't have helped me um, not sending him up. So, and, and honestly, and the ten damage probably doesn't matter. So, um, so we'll see what happens. So they have, okay, Penny. It's good, it's good to know. I don't really think they want to play Penny. Superior Energy Retrieval. So for just one, I mean, they're being, so they're really, so they needed this to get the energy to get the knockout. Um, okay. So I want to, well, I want to try to evolve, right? That's what I need to do this turn. So I will get a bit of the barrel I assume um, so I guess I keep doing I, I'll get rid of the boss 
I'll get rid of the pal pad. That I might regret the pal pad, but I might want to use the ultra balls. I'm thinking. So I will be barrel. It, it gives me some options, honestly. The ultra ball, right? I get one less card with it. That's the downside. But um, team evolution, super, super, super. Um, so the one, I, let me think. I didn't. So I want to get. Um, all right, I'm going to ditch the rod. I want to keep the earthen vessel for next turn, is my thought. So I want to get a stage one down. Okay, good. Just taking a look at what I got here. So I want to evolve the guy with the energy, just puts me in the best spot. And I, I actually, the energy for next turn is a good thing. So I'm going to do, do the team evolution. So there you go there, and then you become my EX, and okay. See what happens. Look, I'm down two prizes already, you know, and my opponent's kind of running me over. Um, obviously, look, they're an eight, they, they can attack for meaningful damage turn one, which, which is also a big plus with this deck. Look, I have a lot of respect for the ancient decks. This may just... So what is this? Is this more of a Roaring Moon deck? Um, no, this is probably an ancient box deck. Just, it, you know, they, they, they kind of blend together. All they're going ahead with, I don't know if they play Karina or not, though. So, okay, so I have Knockout, though, which is awesome because I have my second energy. So that's really good. Um, that's re that, that that's bi a big deal for me. So I will draw my cards because I don't want to get rid of this Magnazone. Okay, uh, that's pretty good, actually. So... I'll sit on the Earthen Vessel, I think, at this point. Just take the knockout. Um, this is probably just a matchup where I just smack away. I, I probably don't need the Relicanthum play. And at this point, I, I'm kind of assuming they're going to get through my... the Squobit and the Bibarel at some point. Uh, the cameras are good still. I mean, it, it, it's not great, but it's just because they have all this acceleration, right? Like, um, that's the thing. So they're not going to knock me out. But once they knock, but they're going to two-shot him. They're, I mean, or, yeah, they're going to two-shot him probably. Um, if they get one more energy in play without the tool, I don't need to damage myself in the process. It probably doesn't really matter, though. Um... So I might Silene the, the hammer back, I'm thinking. Um, and I'll earth and if this, they haven't played a support yet, have they? So they got counter catcher, but that's probably not gonna be good to them because they have just run out to this huge lead. Um, okay, so they're gonna, so they do 220, a, a very solid number. So it, it doesn't matter what I do for my attack. Um, so I think I want to should probably get rid of their stadium, right? I don't think I can afford Relicanth in this game. I really don't. Um, let's think. Um, so I'll Earth and Vessel. Get rid of the Relicanth. Do I want two energies? I'll grab two. I'm going to Silene, and I'll put at, at least one... Uh, um, hammer on top, because Hammer is really what I want to do here. Um, let's see, I can get two cards. So what else do I want? Is there something else I want? Hammer... I want Turo back. Maybe Turo could be good, right? If if they don't knock me out, then the Turo is pretty good, right? So, do I want to keep this energy in hand? I think I want to, because um, I can keep the energy, right? I could Squobit get get and get an extra card this turn, but okay, not terrible. I mean, not not great. Maybe I should have. All right. Um.
maybe I should retreat. Maybe I should switch, right? Because I'm doing 150 with the first attack, right? So I will switch. Since I got a switch card, that's actually pretty good, right? Because they're not, they can't one shot him. So now if they, they, they need, and I'm not ahead in prize. They can't counter catcher because I'm still behind in prizes. Um, they can boss, but you know, again, just it makes them use a resource. Um, they're going to be able to two shot him, right? I have an energy in hand, which is good as well. If that's what happened, if, if you know, if they, if they, I own me and only attach one energy, then I have a problem, right? Or if they get three energies in play, but they get their tool attached, right? So at this point, they need the tool to atta be attached. If they don't, um, but I have lost vacuum, so that's actually pretty good. You know, they have the rod, you know, they just, they have rod, because they are a pokey stop deck, they have rods, and I, you know, I just can't get them out of it, run them out of energy. Possibly, you know, you can force them to not have energy in one turn. But that's about it, probably. And then Awakening Drum, a very nice, a good card there. Uh, the future decks with its uh, ace spec is, is a little tougher because it accelerates energy, which is really their only energy acceleration. The, the, the ancient deck doesn't need the energy acceleration because that's the supporters are doing that already. But, um, okay, we will see how things go here. Two, six, so they're doing pretty big damage. Um, and, and, and they can get to the po to the point of one shotting me. That is always possible. I could. I don't think I want a Turos Professor Turo scenario. I think that'd be a mistake, right? I, I do think so. So. So I have the easy knockout here. So I think I want to misfortune. Let me see what's in their hand. I guess. And. So I can get rid of these two. Okay. So a little bit helpful. I mean, it's nothing huge. I think I want to... Because I can knock him out with the tool. I want the lost vacuum for next turn. That's really what I want. Um, so I will just... Do 250. Damage myself. But I'm not knocked out. And they can't. And, and that, that, that doesn't... That, change and damage doesn't matter. I'm in a lot of trouble, though. Unless, you know, the only way I can win this game is if I can stop them from attacking, which isn't likely um, at all. They have... Uh, let's, let's see. They have Sada's, so... And I could have... Uh, you know, the idea of trying to use Turo at that point in the game. I think it was just too late because I have to keep attacking with um, with um, with Magnazone, and I, and I would have missed that, right? So I need to I, so I need to hammer here, right? Um, I need double hammer. That's what needs to happen here. Easy peasy. So let me let me just look. What do I have? I have one hammer in there, so I will Arvin, grab a hammer. Might as well grab uh, the cape, but the, it's too late with the cape. That's the problem. But partly thin the deck out as well. And I will then squow it in the barrel. Okay, I mean, I might. You know, I might be able to get rid of both these energies, in which case I have a chance, right? I will attach the tool. I mean, it's, they still one-shot me eat pretty easily. I, I've got to... Um, I've got to... You know, I, I need another hammer, and I've got to get a heads on a hammer. That's what it comes down to. You know, a hammer would have been good, or an item I could play. All right, double hammer. That's actually good. Now it's like... now Because now I have decent odds of getting that, and I, I got it. So that's very nice. Might just pull this off now, right? So I attack with this, knock them out, and um, do they have? You know, they they need to get two energies, but the, 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 I'm still two, it's still two turns for me to make this happen too. So I, the odds are very much against me. I got a hammer though, so that's really good. Um, okay, so pokey gear. 
uh, what do they have? They're out of Slotus Vitality. They're all, they're actually out of all their ancient supporters. So, um, I you know I don't know what they can do. I might have run them down. I might have. I, I don't know. Well, they have some energy there. Okay. So energy. So there's six there. So they have energy still. Um, I have hammer though. So now, now, now I might lose the game because of that. And I don't have Switch, right? I, I think my Switch is... Did I play the Switch already this game? I did. So now I'm in a lot of trouble here. Okay, so... I can make it work, though. I, I, I need to... Rod, for one thing. Got a rod. I need energies. That's what I need. I need energies. So I attach active... Um, is there a reason to do something else? I don't think I want to... I'm trying to think, should I Ultra Ball and Thin? I don't think there's a reason to do that. So I'll scope it in the barrel. I should start to... Actually, Eerie's pretty good, right? Do I want to... I mean, Silene... No, I, I should... Let's see what they have in hand. So they have one energy... So Countercatcher's a useless card to them. And I'll get rid of the Lost Vacuum just in case. And I'll grab my cards here. And I should be... <laughs> and I think I am... All right, I'll get rid of their Stadium just kind of... Actually, I don't need TMD Evolution, so let me let me ditch that and get rid of the stadium. Just getting out, get just reducing the resources. So I'm, I might turrow. Do I? Yeah, I might even turrow away the barrel. Would be the play there. They they might grab. Um, so they got 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 a Sada there. Um, okay. So this will give them game because they have the energy in hand. So uh, and they they got it now. So and that that is what it is. I you know so they pulled. And see they're doing three forty. So they would one shot me without the tool with full HP. So came up short. Um, and you know you know the deck is honestly. I think I'll probably close the video up with this game and. The deck will win some games, um, but it, it's a struggle. It's close. There's a lot of these. These honestly, I've seen a ton of ancient decks, and and it, it's not good going up against them. This was probably you know, this was a, a, the game went pretty well all for that matchup. So it, it's been a struggle. Um, the TM Devolution, I, I added that. I do like that. Um, the deck's okay. Give me your thoughts about how to make the list better, I gotta say, because I do... I, it's an intriguing concept. Also, give me suggestions for other Relicanth decks, because I think Relicanth's really interesting. Um, you know, the idea of these Stage 2 EXs utilizing the pre-evolutions. Uh, maybe there's some more effective ways to do it as well. Or some other, other, other ways to work it. So anyway, a ni nice little control option. Do you get set up? And it, it's obviously matchup dependent. So it's a deck that can win. You can have some fun with it. Um, and you know, you flip a lot of he lot, lot of coins with crushing hammers, and then hopefully uh, you, they turn up heads for you. So have some fun. Play some Pokemon. Take care.